Hi everyone, this is Mani and welcome back to SK SecOps. Today, let's understand about sidecar design pattern and let's see what type of problem is it trying to solve. So let's get started. Let us consider we have three components. One is the main application or the container. A sidecar container that runs along with the main application or container. And also we have one of the shared volume or the disk. First, your main application is the actual application where it runs business logic and generates logs. Then these logs are sent to the shared volume or it writes to the shared volume. Within the shared volume, logs are stored. Next comes to the sidecar container or a helper container reads the logs from the shared volume. So once it reads the logs, then it ships the logs to any external system like a logging server or any monitoring tool. It is also used in some processes like converting the text data to any other formats like JSON. It also useful in configuration and monitoring health of the main application. So what type of problem is it solved? So this pattern helps in log shipping, application configuration and health monitoring without modification of the main app's core logic. So now let us understand the definition of sidecar pattern. So this pattern is commonly used in microservices and in Kubernetes where a helper container runs alongside with the main application container in the same pod. So pod means it can have one or more containers. So it adds or enhances functionality without changing the main application code. Let me use one of the blackboard to write Kubernetes deployment manifest file to explain sidecar pattern. So if you observe there is a kind deployment where it is a Kubernetes object which mainly deals with rollouts, rollbacks and replicas in Kubernetes. Then we have a volume section which named as data. It is a shared volume as I have mentioned in the previous section and its type is emptyDir which means it is a empty directory shared between the containers inside a pod. Then we have a containers one is the main app container which mainly generating some logs and storing it in the slash opt slash logs dot txt file. And then we have other container which is the sidecar container. And this, com this is using one of the command to read the logs from the slash opt slash logs dot txt. But how the sidecar container is able to read these logs? Yes using one of the section under containers which is the volume mount section because the volume named data is mounted to the container path under slash opt folder. Now let's see how can we check the logs for a specific container inside a pod using kubectl logs hyphen f you can mention the pod name and along with you can mention the specific container. So whenever you type this command within the Kubernetes then definitely we will be getting the output as logging. So these logging messages are produced by whom? These are produced by the main application container and these are read by sidecar container. That's all for this video and thank you so much for watching this video. If you really like this video subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon for further notifications. Thank you.